<laughs> awesome. So that was uh, that was Gone with the Wind. Hey, you know, one of my favorite pictures, of course, is the Lord of the Rings. Um, and uh, so uh, now I'm playing the Balrog, and I'll be doing it as Gene Wilder. <laughs> And uh, Rachel, you're doing uh, Gandalf, yes? Joan Rivers as Gandalf. And, Joan Rivers. <laughs> and it's, it's not too soon, and Joan would approve. All right, here we go. Next uh, classic for well, this is a this is a, this boy a haunting picture. <laughs> it's probably wrong that we're doing it. But what about Seven? Huh? One of my uh, a great David Fincher film. Now uh, playing Somerset or Morgan Freeman in this. Who is playing Morgan Freeman? Uh, I will be playing Morgan Freeman as Winnie the Pooh. Very good. <laughs> and as Brad Pitt. Um yeah, I'll be Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and as John Doe, Kevin Spacey. Tracy Morgan gonna be the John Doe. All right, great. Right. Let's take a look at this climactic scene from the movie Seven. Put the gun down. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. Oh. It seems envy is my What's in the box? Oh, bother. Oh, what's in the funky box? He just told you. You lie. You're a fuzzy liar. Shut up. It's what he wants. He, he, he wants you to shoot him. No. No. You tell me, you tell me. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Become vengeance, David. Oh, Piggy's all right. Come on, Piggy. Become me. waka waka. <laughs> awesome. Hey, how about the Godfather, huh? Everyone loves the Godfather. <laughs> so, uh, who do we have here? Rachel, you're. Ooh, everybody wants to be a badass Godfather. Yeah. Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes as the Godfather. And uh, who's playing Johnny? The. Uh... I'm Jennifer Aniston. Gonna play Johnny. Okay, that, that, that's okay. Yeah, that's great. great awesome. Great. Here's Jennifer Aniston and Wanda Sykes in The Godfather. You look terrible. I want you to eat. I want you to rest well. In a month from now, this Hollywood Big Shot's gonna give you what you want. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. God. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't have a few. <laughs> you know, this was uh, released in 3D again. I don't have it in 3D here, but everyone loves Jurassic Park. <laughs> so here's a, a classic scene from Jurassic Park. And who, are, who do we have? I'll be Homer Simpson as Dr. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, Dr. Sadler? Uh, George Takei. Oh, George Takei. Uh, you're, uh, you're, yes. Oh, oh, it's Dr. Sadler is over there. Hey, hey, don't have a tail, man. I'm going to be Sandler. <laughs> All right, great. Excellent. Uh, Bart Simpson as Sandler. Bart. And then... Hammond is George Takei. George Takei as, as uh, Dr. Hammond. Very good. Uh, we take you now to this scene. Tell you what, I think we need oh, to start oh, that. Oh, we didn't get the yeah, beats. We didn't get the 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 beats. We didn Say again. <laughs> oh, a T Rex. Oh, I don't feel so good. I'm a bit dizzy. As planned. Perfect, boys. Oh, 
Oh, but faster this time. Ooh, how fast are they? Well, we got the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. Uh, T-Rex? Mm -hmm. uh, you have T-Rex? Uh, Say uh, again. Uh, uh, T-Rex. Uh, Ooh. Uh, 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 hey, put, put oh, your head between your legs, dude. Uh, hey, don't uh, do My dude, I'm uh, uh, sad. A T-Rex, oh well, boy. To Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, yes. Another great Steven Spielberg picture is Jaws. So here's a classic scene from Jaws. Uh, who do we have as Chief Brody in this bit? <laughs> Donald Duck is Chief Brody. And, uh, and then the shark, yes? And the shark. And, and <laughs> that is the shark. Let's take a look. Everyone loves the Wizard of Oz, huh? So what happens if we mess with Wizard of Oz? Who do we have in Wizard of Oz? Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> Sandra Bernhardt as Dorothy. Uh, I'll be playing uh, the Scarecrow as uh, President Barack Obama. Very good. <laughs> President Obama. I'll be Pee Wee Herman as the guard. <laughs> oh, good. Awesome. Let's take a look at the Wizard of Oz. Woo, you're wasting my time! Oh, please, please, sir, please. I just gotta see the wizard. The good witch of the north sent me. Prove it! Well, let's be clear. Uh, she's wearing uh, the ruby slippers uh, that she gave. It's right there. You can see Ooh, them. Ooh, so she is. Well, bust my buttons. Why did you say that in the first place? There's a horse of a different color. Come on in. <laughs> Woo! It's time for a little improv, you know, uh, one of my favorite game shows growing up was The Dating Game, and uh, so we're going to play an episode of The Dating Game. Who's ready to see The Dating Game, huh? <laughs> Who are playing The Dating Game? Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore is our uh, celebrity guest, and then we also have uh, three bachelors, and they will introduce themselves, and I'll be playing Bob Eubanks, or Wink Martindale, the host of The Dating Game, as Vince Vaughn. <clears throat> Hey, welcome to the dating game. I'm real excited to be here. I'm really, I can feel that you all are excited too. Put your hands together. I'll make some noise for the dating game. Let's start things off. Let's introduce our bachelor. Bachelor, uh, I'm sorry, bachelorette. Our bachelorette is going to meet three lovely bachelors and be able to choose who she wants to date. So let's meet her. Uh, so why don't you start telling us a little bit about yourself. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Drew Barrymore. I'm blonde. I'm in a lot of romantic comedies. <laughs> Joy, you excited? You're looking forward to meeting someone who's going to steal your heart today? Yeah, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's meet our bachelors. Each of our bachelors, bachelor one, two, and three, don't tell us your identity, but just go ahead and say hello to our bachelorette. Let's start with bachelor number one. Howdy. Nice to make your acquaintance. Dodge room. Very nice. Bachelor number two. I'm very excited to meet you. <laughs> And bachelor number three. Uh, hi there, Dom. Good to meet you. Very nice. All right, that's what I'm sure. Now, you've got some questions you want to ask these, each of these bachelors to find out what kind of answers, and when they tell you, based on their answers, you're going to choose who you want to date. So why don't you go ahead and start us off. First question for the bachelors. Okay. <laughs> which one of my movies, bachelor number one, which one of my movies was the biggest mistake and why? The Wedding Singer, Poison <laughs> Ivy, or Never Been Kissed? Oh, great question. Bachelor number one, what do you think? I haven't seen a darn one of them. I don't get out much to the movies. I like to stay on my ranch, record commercials for Dodge Ram. <laughs> Everything else is just gravy, which I'm also I've got a new campaign for Pillsbury Biscuits with gravy. That's my answer. I don't know about your movies, but you sound very pretty. Very nice. Bachelor number two, same question. I can relate to never being kissed. <laughs> <laughs> 
And bachelor number three, same answer. Same question. You don't have to give the same answer. It's up to you. You can answer however you want to answer. Well, first of all, I haven't seen any of those goddamn films, but what I gotta say is you and me in the screening room watching all of them is gonna be awesome. Talk about winning. <laughs> all right, there you go. Next question, Bachelorette, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Drew. Okay. I was in a movie, Bachelor number three, called Lucky You. What would I have to do on our date to make you feel lucky? Ooh, Bachelor number three. Well, I was born lucky, first of all, okay? I mean, I just, I, I'm born with tiger's blood. Their faces are gonna just blow off their heads. They can't even wrap their mind around what my mind is doing right now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just awesome. That awesome rack of yours is coming on over. We're gonna party all night with the goddesses in the screening room. It's gonna be, forget about it, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, bachelor number three. Bachelor number two, same question. To make me lucky, maybe just a little ring or something. You can find something with gold on the outside with some inscription on the inside. That would be precious. I don't want to blow the rules of the game here, host, but uh, that second guy, I'm not sure he's human. She might, she might need to be apprised of that situation. Listen here, at the, at, listen, at the dating game, we're not judging, okay, species or whatever. Whether you were human or were human in the past, or even if you were halfling, it's all fair in love and war. Whoever signs up, okay, it's reality. <laughs> the dude abides. Thank you. Final question, Bachelorette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Tell me I'm pretty in creative ways. <laughs> okay, doll, you are so pretty. When these people take a look at you, they're going to be droopy-eyed, limbless children, okay? They're not going to know how to wrap their mind around the awesomeness that you are. <laughs> droopy-eyed, limbless children. <laughs> Back to number one, your answer. When I wake up every morning and I see the sun rise, right now, I'm thinking of switching out that sun for you. <laughs> Because you warm my heart in ways I've never felt before. Wow. Dodge. <laughs> and finally, Bachelor number two, what's your answer? You would call me precious. You're so beautiful. No, no, she's not beautiful. She's so beautiful. I'm going to shoot attack. this garment right now. Don't shoot him. I'm afraid we've narrowed it down to you two. So, <laughs> Bachelorette, well, who do you choose? Bachelor number one or Bachelor number three? What happened to two? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure I can bring it back. I, I choose it's... number three because he sounds super sexy. Winning. <laughs> Congratulations to our Bachelors and Bachelorette. That's the dating game. <laughs> awesome. Let's uh, take the lights back down and we'll do a few more clips, ladies and gentlemen. You know, another one of my favorite pictures is, uh, is uh, it's a classic, it's, uh, it's Toy Story. And I know everyone loves Toy Story in one way or another. Show your love for Toy Story. Come on, pick some out. So for, uh, for Toy Story, we have, who do we have? Buzz Lightyear as Samuel Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson as Buzz Lightyear. And as Woody? Michael Caine as Woody. Excellent, Michael Caine. We take you underneath the pizza truck. Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor, turn the lights up! No, 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 that wasn't part of the script, sorry. I can't see, I'm sorry. Could you, you mind? That was a joke, by the way, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't really mad, that was, that was Can we just do a little more light, I'm sorry. Here we go. I'll try it again, I'm sorry, that was my bad. He's like, wow, what a dick. Yeah. I was like, okay, it was just in Samuel Jackson mode, sorry. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We're gonna do this. Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with a destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. I alone have information that reveals this weapon's only weakness. To blame any rendezvous with Star Command. You are a toy. <laughs> you aren't a real Buzz Lightyear. You're, you're an action figure. You are a child's plaything. You are a, you are a sad, strange little man. And you have. <laughs>